Fear the Walking Dead, season number six, episode two. Welcome to the club. This was a very Alicia and Strand centric episode. We saw them from the very beginning. They're running with the Ranger over their methods of disposing of the latrine waste and in its relation to the wind blowing into the cantina. You know, that led to them going to this camp, almost like a prison place where they didn't you know the people there they didn't know what jenny didn't know what to do with them it's like you go here so she sent strand and alicia there of course charlie ends up there we got a little bit with daniel cutting jenny's hair he apparently has no memory or so you're made to believe that his memory is gone or he's suffered you see a little like a, a bump on his head like he got hit jenny alludes to the fact that he took a stand against the rangers and well that's what happened to him so she makes Strand and Alicia go to this camp with the purpose of clearing out a certain area that has not been cleared yet, and she keeps throwing bodies at it. They come up with this cattle method. Uh, if you've ever seen the inside of like a cattle herding facility uh, where they go to slaughter, basically, there's a tunnel, and uh, it's you know fenced in very tight and narrow, and that's so the cattle can't turn around. Well, this is kind of what they did with the walkers, you know, bottleneck them to this one area and then dispose of them which didn't make much sense why they would even let them out because i would just lock them all in that area and then stab them from the side of the cage but that's reality and this is a fictitious show you know so i, I don't <laughs> the logic just wasn't there for me but no we got a lot of uh setup during this episode we have jenny's sister dakota she kind of did a stowaway in the truck on the way to the camp a la carl kind of agreed to help them we saw the uh, you know fate of a couple rangers, which ancillary characters died in this episode. Nobody of any consequence really died. You know, Sanjay, we were introduced to him at the beginning with that whole crew there that got wiped out at this warehouse. He was the only one that survived. Strand, of course, is Victor Strand and uses him as a kind of sacrifice to draw the walkers away. So we see that Daniel's memory is, spoiler alert, not gone. He's fine. He's faking. And doing an excellent job of it as well. So it was a good episode. It was solid. Uh, some people might say this one was a little bit slow, but we got Morgan, a reveal with him and Daniel at the end of the episode. Daniel's whistling. Uh, you know, Morgan answers him back. So Daniel kayfabes like he forgot his scissors. You know, the ranger goes back in to get him. And that's when Morgan shows up and we, we get that little interaction there. But no, the meat of this episode was the clearing of the warehouse and uh, Strand and Alicia in their relationship and building on that charlie should have died at one point uh, but charlie has plot armor so fear keeps a lot of characters around now which is there's a huge cast if you really think about all the major players involved in this it's been considerably larger than walking dead at times but fear is not afraid to kill off main characters speaking of which madison she should be back i mean we never got a definitive death although she was on the in memoriam segment of talking dead so i think that there's enough cry from the fans to bring her out cry to bring her back because the show is lacking without her it would be it would be a, a big coup for the show i mean if you brought morales back to walking dead just because the fans were like oh you never you never resolved morales storyline you never resolved morales storyline why not bring Madison back? And I'm not saying bring Madison back to just kill her off like you did Morales. I'm saying bring Madison back and insert her into the storylines of the main plot and, you know, fulfill her story arc. And then if you're going to kill her off, kill her off. But don't just bring her back and kill her off in the same episode. That just seems contrived. So I, I don't I don't like that idea at all. Um, but I, I honestly don't mind the idea of bringing her back because I thought killing Kim Dickens' character off was a huge mistake for this show. Huge mistake. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think this is going to pick up a lot in the coming episodes. Like I said, you need one of these episodes to kind of slow things down, even though it is the beginning of the season. Slow things down. Establish what you're, you know, set up, do your setup, and then start your delivery. So I liked it. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm not talking about World Beyond. It was garbage. We get 55 minutes of garbage and five minutes of gold, which is what, you know, the CRM stuff is all about. You know, and 55 minutes of angsty emo teens. 
and it was just in bad acting horrible acting so what do you guys think of fear of the walking dead season six though let me know in the comments below and if you haven't yet please let today be the day that you subscribe to the channel we're at 366 at the time of this video we're trying to hit 500 before year's end help be part of that goal and also if you're so inclined Bitch, slap that like button for me. Share the video. It really helps myself and your other favorite YouTube content creators out. Until next time, I'm Etep Queen of The Place To Be Reviews. I have been here with all of yous. And remember, if I don't see you, have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow.